Hello, my name is Andy Bretz. We are in Charleston, South Carolina, in my tiny home, the Rover. So Charleston's great. It's the number one tourist destination in the country for I think five years or something. I mean, there's uh, great restaurants, lots of great food, tons of culture. Also, uh, you're 10 minutes to the beach and to lots of beaches. And then we also have lots of like nature, preserves and wildlife. Probably the most fun is when you're out kayaking and suddenly there's dolphins beside you. I mean, that's kind of fun to, it's a fun adventure. Um, I think the tiny house movement, our opportunity is a multi-tool. Um, meaning that can do a lot of things for a lot of different people or a lot of different populations. For me, I don't want to work till 70 or 75 or 42 or 38. So to me, the tool is the opportunity to create more flexibility in my life. Maybe retiring sooner or going on more trips or doing more fun things. Um, but yeah, having the economic ability, the freedom of choice. I think when you go tiny, you have to figure out what's important to you. It's, it's a soul searching. A lot of people perceive that the tiny house community is, a, is only for minimalists. And I am nowhere near the term of a minimalist. I like the term maximist. You do have to prioritize what you have, um, but you still can, like, you still can have whatever you want to have in a tiny house. It just has to fit still. But, you know, I have a full library. Did I, I had a bigger library when I had a house, so I did have to pare down. I mean, it was, it was a whole room of floor to ceiling bookshelves. Um, and that was hard, but I still have, I don't know, 250 books roughly. Like you saw, I have nine volleyballs hanging on the wall. Do I need nine volleyballs? No, I had 40. I'm down to nine. I've given some away since I've moved here and it might go down some more. Basically the, the gist of it is, is that you're able to have whatever's important to you as long as you design the space to house it. But yeah, the kitchen toys, I mean, is pretty extensive and it's, it is, I, a lot, there's a lot of things in the house that I say, this is ridiculous. I live in 359 square feet and I have X, Y, Z. So, yeah, I've kind of always been fearless in the eating side of things. And I would eat something and be like, well, how do you do it? And I learn how to make it at home. So tonight for our potluck to celebrate uh, some birthdays and stuff, we're making uh, pasta puttanesca. Let's see, Nutella stuffed brown buttered chocolate chip cookies with sea salt. And we're going to attempt a uh, homemade custard. The things I like about my tiny home is that really, I mean, it everything is maximized. I mean, holy cow, you can be in a tiny house and still have whatever's, whatever it is. Um, and I think that's kind of the, that's my big kind of message point to people is you don't have to give up everything to live in a tiny house. guys, Alexis and Christian here with Tiny House Expedition. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And click left or right for more Tiny House stories and tours.